Welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show, Traveling Road Edition. I am in Rocky Point, Mexico, or what we like to call Arizona's Beach. You can see it's just a beautiful morning down here. The wind is not blowing at all compared to just a few days ago. I'm down here with some friends. We're all camping at the reef. So that's ours right there. I'm next to uh, Jack's unit with the flag there and the uh, Elon Musk satellite. And Tommy next door, he's got the same thing. I tell you, if you're looking at the uh, internet, that uh, Starlink seems to work pretty good. But I haven't uh, set up for my live stream yet this week. But I saw some numbers this morning, and I just had to kind of put this out. A lot of headlines out there. The National Association of Realtors right now is saying uh, that, uh, you know, inventory is going to continue to be really tight going into the year. And we're probably not going to see prices come down. Um, Fannie Mae comes out and says, well, 2023 is going to stink. Uh, we're going to have a recession at the end of the year, and it could be rough. And uh, I'm looking, and today, on the seven-day moving average, we actually had more homes go under contract than the number of new listings that came up. We had 3,300 homes go under contract. Now, if you follow me on this channel at all, you know that that number is actually quite higher than what we've been seeing. Now, at the peak, we were seeing 4,000. 4,400. But what's unique about today is that we have more homes go under contract than new listings that came on by about a hundred. So if you look at the short-term view of our market here in Arizona today, there's no downward pricing pressure right now. When you have more homes going under contract than what are coming on, that doesn't make prices go down despite what's happening with interest rates, which as of this morning are Kind of starting to tick down just a little bit um, nothing major but you know they're they've stopped climbing up like they did last week but that's pretty significant now that certainly doesn't say anything about what's going to happen long term but when you look at these little details in the phoenix market because real estate is all local uh, we're not getting our butt kicked right now uh, there's multiple offers out there uh, so if you're a seller this is not a scary time this morning, there's only 14,800 homes on the market. We dipped below 15,000. Now, during the really severe shortages of uh, last year and the year before, we got down to less than 5,000 listings. So 14,000 is a huge leap from them, from then. And that's why you see these headlines, listings are up 200%. And I always respond by going, well, I hope so. I'd like to see them up about 500%, to be honest with you. But right now, you know, we got up to almost 20,000 when rates made that huge spike from three and a half to seven. And now they've been slowly creeping down week after week. Just when I think inventory is gonna increase, doesn't happen. And what we're seeing now validates everything that we've been trying to say that we thought we were gonna see, and that is rate lock. And uh, interest rates went up, what happened to inventory? It went down. The more interest rates go up, the more people say, no, nope, not playing, staying home. I'm going to stay here in this happy little 3.5% mortgage rate and uh, just be content. Uh, are we going to have layoffs that are going to force people out of that home, out of their homes? You know, who knows? I think if you're sitting on a really low interest rate and a payment that you're comfortable with and you get laid off, um, you know, it's hard to tell whether or not you're in a position where you got to sell your house or not. And uh, it doesn't mean we're going to have a bunch of foreclosures because it's too much equity. But I'm not going to speculate that far out. I just want to let you know that in today's market, uh, inventory is just low. And uh, and the sales are not going down. And it looks like sales are going to continue to be brisk as we get into uh, this week. Now, I thought for sure that with the spring market and with interest rates being what they are, that, that interest rates killed the spring market. Once again, the market is proving me wrong. Because uh, if it was going to kill the spring market, then our sales on a seven-day moving average would be below uh, 2,500 homes. Certainly didn't expect to see it at 3,300 homes. So we're in a unique situation here. We're just going to continue to look at the numbers. Do me a favor, smash the like button if you like this speech. Take care. See you next time.